hello everybody welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i super quickly want to apologize for the ac unit that you might be hearing um i am filming this on the same day it's going up which i never do this and so this is the only time i have to film and it unfortunately decided to turn on right now but in today's video we will be stuffing 496 dollars if you guys watched my budget with me the amount did go down because i did have to use some of the money before being able to pull it out um this morning so we're going to go ahead and just get started by pulling out our change because now we start our videos with taking out the change that I had from the past week and then at the end of this month, which since this is the last paycheck of February, there will be like a savings challenge update video where I go through all of my coin challenge like stuff as well as counting and updating my sinking funds for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and add this change to our little jar. I feel like it was a lot more than we had last week. We have been using our campus vending machine a lot more than we like ever do. So because of that, we have been getting some change back pretty frequently. So we're gonna go ahead and start by taking out our cash envelopes. So these are the ones I keep in my wallet. I did get them from the planning dancer. She does have um, a coupon code for you all that she gave to me so it's gonna be down below if you guys are interested in ordering from her shop so first we're gonna start with gas gas is going to be getting $20 so that is all that it's going to have this amount may be going up as the weeks go by because some exciting news which I'll just tell you guys right now we were able to get the puppy her name is Wanda I will post some pictures of her on the screen right now um, and we do plan to kind of change our routine to almost become commuters and so because of that I will need a lot more gas money so food is also going to be getting 20 we did already purchase groceries yesterday so I'm gonna have to take this back out and give it to Jordan which is fine, but there is $20 into food. Then we have fun. Fun is going to be getting $10. So let's go ahead and stuff this and set that aside. And then spending is going to be receiving just a $5 bill. So let's go ahead and put this in here and then that will complete our um, cash envelope. So if you guys are interested in this new spread that I'm using, it will be linked down below if you're interested in downloading it um, for free. Just go ahead and check down there if you want it. So next we're going to go ahead and stuff my bills and long-term savings. So to begin, we do have my phone bill. Phone bill is going to be receiving $15 and this should complete my 70 for the month. And so I'm going to have to go ahead and deposit this and give it to my mom. So in here we now have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, and 70 dollars. So 70 dollars for my phone bill and then I believe after this it should be going back down to just the service. I'll go ahead and keep you guys updated of course but next is going to be Best Buy. It's going to receive ten dollars and it currently just has a 10 in there so now we have twenty dollars in best buy so we're a week away from having my minimum payment which will be on time um, before it's due so there is best buy then we have credit builder loan this is going to be getting eleven dollars i have gotten quite a bit of questions on this credit builder loan it's through my bank and i do pay interest on it however um it's not that much to deem this whole process not worth it because the $500 that I like pulled out for my credit builder loan it gets released to me once I'm done paying it. So for credit builder loan, we now have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, and 77 dollars. So 77 into my credit builder loan. Um, next week we will have a two months worth of payment into this envelope and I do currently have two months worth sitting in my account waiting to be pulled out. So next we're going to go ahead and move on to savings. So for the 100 envelope challenge we did pull number 10 so I'm just going to be stuffing a $10 bill since this one is below 60 me and Jordan will be matching the same exact amount instead of halving it. So there is $10 into our 100 envelope challenge. So I'm going to leave this balance blank though because um, I don't have like a total of everything together just yet. Next is going to be my savings envelope. It's just going to be receiving a single dollar bill. This is just an extra cash buffer so don't worry. This is not all that I have in savings. So we have one, 
two, three, four, five, and six dollars. I'm gonna move that one to the front because it's pretty. So there's six dollars into my savings. Also, if you're curious about which app I'm using to open this spreadsheet, I am using an app called Good Notes. So next is going to be Emergency Fund. It's going to be receiving just $3 this week. If you guys are curious about how I pick my amounts for my emergency fund, I do share that in my Budget With Me video. So um, thank you guys so much for also really enjoying those videos. So Emergency Fund now has... 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, and 88 dollars. So let's go ahead and write that super quickly. I've been feeling really off this morning, but filming this video is just like getting me back into my routine. I just feel very behind. I have a lot of things that I need to be doing um, for some of you guys and just like for school and stuff that I just have not been able to get around to doing. So next is going to be retirement. It's going to be getting $5. So let's go ahead and count this. Um, in retirement, we now have a 50, 100, 10, 15, and $20. So 120 into retirement. I'm so excited about our little puppy. She's super cute. Right now she is at home with my mom and my brother, but they have been updating me daily and they're very excited to also be watching her for us. But again, we do hope to basically become commuters to where we can be home almost all of the time with her because she is our responsibility. So next is going to be taxes. Taxes is going to be getting $155. So if you, again, are curious about how I calculate my taxes, you can go ahead and watch my budget with me. I do kind of briefly mention it there, um, just because I don't usually have to stuff taxes. So let's go ahead and put this together. So taxes now has 100, 200, 300, 20, oh sorry, 50, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, and 89. So 389 dollars into taxes, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and put this back. Uh, my mom still has yet to do my taxes because she has been catching up with her work since we were out of power for so long, or like she was. So I'm not rushing her on that, but we will get it done on time, I promise. It just has not happened yet. So next is going to be new car, and new car will be receiving, sorry, it's going to be receiving $10. So let's go ahead and put this in here. I do also have a student loan envelope that I want to start, and I don't know where exactly I put that. I already had something ready. Oh, I do, I do know where I put that. Okay, so new car now has 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, and 32. So 132 in the envelope, which let me make sure that's correct. Yes, 132 in the envelope, but we have 400 in the bank. So we have $532 in total for our new car. So let's go ahead and put this back in the envelope. And then I'm going to grab the one I'm going to use for student loans super quickly. Okay, so for student loans, we're going to be using an extra envelope I had from Jordan's shop. And it is just going to be getting $1. And that's all that it has because I did just start this envelope. So there is $1 into my student loans. So now we're going to go ahead and move over to our regular sinking funds that I use on a weekly slash monthly basis. To begin, we do have business. Business is going to be getting $50, which means we should now have $100, which again means that next week I will be having my $25 giveaway. There will be four different winners. So let's go ahead and count business. We have $50, $70, $90, $95, and $100. So there's $100 into business if you guys want please go ahead and feel free to leave different stores or websites down below that you would want a gift card to. It would be an electronic gift card, so you have to make sure that you can purchase from their website. But just let me know down below, that way I can start thinking about how I want to run next week's giveaway. So next is going to be car maintenance. It's just going to receive $1. So we're going to go ahead and add this into this. And now in car maintenance, we have $20, $25, $26, and $27. So let's fill this in over here and put this back. So after car maintenance, we do have Christmas. Christmas is going to be receiving its same $10. So let's go ahead and fill this one in. So Christmas now has 
20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars, which is super exciting. So next week we will have our first 100 dollars into Christmas. So again, I feel like I've mentioned this a couple times, but when I reach an amount that I feel is enough for Christmas, I will just stop funding it. Um, at least until we get closer if I think I want more. So holidays and birthdays is going to just be getting $1. Let's go ahead and combine this together. So we now have one, two, three, four, and five dollars. So five dollars into holidays and birthdays. Oh my gosh. What? Um, okay, that was my charm bracelet, I guess, like messing with my iPad. So next, after holidays and birthdays, is home. Home is going to be getting $34, and we're going to give it this funky looking 10. So we have 20, 30, and then we need $4. So one, two, three, and four. So let's go ahead and count this one more time. So we have 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34 dollars. I am using the 52 week challenge to stuff this envelope if anyone is curious. Um, I know a lot of you guys also wanted me to combine, or not combine, but condense my sinking funds. And so I do hope to do that when I film like the update video for the month, if you will. So home now has a 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Um, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 200, and one dollar. So I'm gonna, well I can't really double check unless I count again. So I'm gonna count this stack one more time. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100. Okay. So $201 into home, which is pretty nice. That's a lot quicker um, than I thought I would get that amount. So let's go ahead and put this back. I can't wait to um, exchange the bills in this one. I might actually not even exchange bills and just deposit it because it is quite a bit of money um, in the whole like total, if you will. So next is going to be Jordan. He's just going to receive $1. I said that really funny, which is kind of awkward. But let's go ahead and add this together. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and $11. So $11 into Jordan. So after Jordan, it would normally be Kitty because my stuff is in alphabetical order. But that has been changed to Wanda because that is what we decided to name our puppy. We have recently been very obsessed with WandaVision and we just thought it would be like a perfect name. So she was originally supposed to get $107, but I did use about half of that. So she is going to receive $48 because that's what I had left over. So we have a 20, a 40, a 20, a 40, 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, and 48. So I'm gonna count that again. 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, and 48. So that is all that she has in here because the money that we did have in here before went towards her adoption fee. So she just has $48 in total, which is totally fine. Um, we do have that Thrive Affordable Vet Care, which is $10 a month, but that would be five from me and five from Jordan. So it's not probably not gonna be something I make an envelope for just because it's so small. Um, Next is going to be miscellaneous. It's just going to be receiving $1. So we're going to go ahead and add this in here. This one is also empty. So it just has $1. So let's go ahead and fill that in here. Move out, we'll be getting $45. But I don't have a t another $20. Um, oh, I think I gave something wrong in my cash envelope. Okay. So we have 20 40 and then 45 going into move out. So let's go ahead and count what this one has. This one always shocks me, um, even though I know that it's kind of bigger. So I don't know why I always get so shocked. But move out now has 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, $301. So, okay, 301. I don't know what's with the one dollar <laughs> that's just extra on both but that's fine so this one too I don't know if I'm gonna be switching out bills or just depositing it um, 
but again that'll all be in the same video so please just understand that I do live on campus still and so it's best for me to be depositing the money rather than leaving it all here so next we have pet needs this one is going to be getting five dollars this one isn't really going to be for Wanda because she has her own envelope this is more for my fish and guinea pig so yeah we now have five ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen dollars so fifteen into pet needs so next is going to be school you guys I did get an acceptance letter from the university I do plan to transfer to which is very exciting um I now just have to make an appointment with who would be my advisor so that I can make sure that I'm on track. So school is going to be getting $5. My student ID was also found, so I didn't have to pay for renewing that. So let's go ahead and count this. We have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45. So $45 into school. Let's write that over here. And then we have a travel. Travel is going to be getting ten dollars um our apartment tour trip is coming up very soon i'm still trying to schedule tours with some of the complexes um but the two we really have our eye on we already have tours booked so travel now has 20 30 40 50 55 60 65 70 71 and 72 so 72 dollars into travel if i ever miscount anything please feel free to let me know down below um, just so I can fix that. So now we're going to go on to our bonuses because I do have some extras that I'm stuffing. So to begin on top, Black Friday is going to be receiving $1. So it has 5, 6, 7, and 8. Sorry that this video was like extremely long, but $8 into Black Friday. Then we have entertainment that's not getting stuffed and we did not have any rollover. So it last had $20, which is what it should be left with because we didn't use any of it. So next is going to be hair. Hair is just going to be getting $1. It currently has $1 in there. So we have a total of $2 into hair. After that, we have Sam's Club. That is also going to be getting $1. So let's go ahead and count this. We have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and $11 into our Sam's Club envelope. I'm going really fast with these because there's not much to say. They're, they're just extra ones that whenever I have the extra cash, I will just stuff them. So next is Disney. I did bring this one back and it is just gonna be getting $1, which is all that it has. And then lastly, we have clothing, which is going to be getting the last $5 bill. And this one is also empty and we are starting it out with just that five. So let's go ahead and write that here. Okay guys, so that is everything all stuffed. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Sorry it was long, maybe rushed, maybe a little bit boring, but I really just had to get this done today. Now I'm hoping I have enough time to edit this and upload it before I go into work at one. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will have my giveaway ready to go by next week. And thank you guys for just being so patient and understanding with me and very supportive. But I love you guys all and I will see you guys in the update video. Bye.